you know, connecting to the expressiveness or e- even the idea of play within dance. Like I lost that unless I was choreographing, I had lost that in so many of the other places. Or if I was dancing salsa, that's easier because it's with someone else and it's not for an audience um, and there were no mirrors. <laughs> but in the other places, I found it difficult to take any type of risks and that everything had to be certain and everything had to be controlled. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so two things. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> um, what came up for me too is that playing for me is also creating more chances to succeed. Mm. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, be- mm. Because yeah, in ballet, or I think people who are very perfectionists, or we don't need to give them any label or give it any label. Um, in ballet, we think we have one chance, really. Yeah? So there's one perfect plie, but actually that's not true. And I would say the world best dancers, they know it. <laughs> A plie is never the same plie again. So there is not the one perfect plie. So I think this idea is for me, that's just, it's not that it's, that's not true. It's just not true. So um, there is different music. There are so many factors underlying it, underlying one plie. You have so much room to play with it. So this, for me, this understanding changes a little bit how I approach it and also, if we really take the plie, there are so many stations in the plie and you have still um, chances and time to adopt during a movement, very simple spoken. (laughs) So there is not one chance and that's it. So you can, and I think this also empowers you to be able to on the way to adopt and trusting your ability to be able on the way of the plie or whatever it is to, to adopt it and to make it work. Yeah being a responsive dancer rather than just having this control 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 having the ability and the flexibility to respond to whatever's happening in your body in each moment I mean this is something that at least I feel like I wasn't trained to do in any moment really Uh, potentially a little bit in contemporary but even then not even really and and yet that's such an important skill not only in the dance studio but in life I'm doing a lot of work in the coaching space obviously you know the moment and I'm really deep diving at the moment into communication and I feel like it's this same theme it's the same theme of being able to instead of whatever the rigid outcome that you thought you wanted from anything whether it's a ballet movement whether it's a conversation that you're having with someone whether it's a a project that you're doing at work this very rigid outcome that you think is the best one because at some point someone told you that it was Instead, being able to respond to whatever feedback you're getting from the yeah. real world, from the other person you're having a conversation with or from your buddy in the dance studio and being like, huh, well, what if there's not just one ideal outcome? And what if there are many different great outcomes that can come from yeah. this? And I then become a co-creator in this moment, either co-creating with my body, co-creating this conversation with another person or whatever it is in life. Um, But that takes a lot of emotional regulation, which is coming back to what you said right at the beginning, in fact, because it's unsafe. It is unsafe, actually, to go into that response or we feel no, it's not literally unsafe. We feel like it's unsafe. There's Mm -hmm. a difference. We feel like it's unsafe to go into something that doesn't have a certain outcome of doing something that might be wrong of making a mistake that feels very unsafe to lots of us because we used to get to, at least in my case like you know at school you get told off for making a mistake um or whatever in the dance studio you know you, you'd get sh- shouted at if <laughs> you did it wrong so there's this idea that well I can't be responsive and adjust and be flexible because that's unsafe so maybe let's let's bring this to emotional regulation and how important that is and how do you frame it for yourself and then for your dad